Hey, this is Nick and I'm back with another Excel tip. Today I want to show you how to change a relative hyperlink into an absolute or exact or a specific hyperlink. Now you may not have even known that there are different kinds of hyperlinks, so let me explain really quick. So an absolute or exact or specific hyperlink uh, shows the entire path to the reference file. So for example, you have the C colon documents and so on, the entire path there. A relative hyperlink is a link to another file relative to where the current work workbook is saved at. Um, so it's showing you in this example over here. So this workbook I have open is hyperlink hyperlinks lesson that is saved here in documents. In this subfolder called my Excel, I have several of my uh, Excel templates, some of the other ones that I've made before. Um, so those are linked here. So these are relative hyperlinks. So like in this example, we have the main template is saved in the documents folder. And then what I'm linking to is saved in this my Excel folder. So, rel so the, the relationship to these, this one is in a subfolder relative to this folder. So if we actually go to this link, go over here to link, you can see like template one. So here's the text to display up here. And then the address is showing my Excel. See, it's not showing the full path because it's assuming this folder is within the same folder that the, the parent workbook is saved at. So if you click these, it opens my other templates, which uh, shameless uh, self plug here. You can search my YouTube channel and find uh, videos and links to use all these other templates like the NFL helmet schedule. So those are all relative links. When I click them in here, they all work. But what happens if I copy or move this workbook to a different folder location? Like for example, I made a new folder on my desktop. Um, it's not going to work because it's going to try to find the my Excel folder. It's going to expect it to be the child of this folder, but that folder doesn't exist because the files are saved over here. So it's not going to be able to find them. So let me show you that. So let's close this. So here's my original document here. So if I copy this, or even if I did a save as, and I move it over here, I open it up. I click the links, now the links don't work anymore. So if you can see if I had hundreds of links here, that would be very, very annoying. So how can you fix this? You can change the relative links into exact links. So I will show you how to do that. First step is I'm going to use a macro to get the addresses from these hyperlinks. So if I go to macros, Again, uh, I will save this as a template in the description below that you will be able to download this for free. Um, so this is a very simple macro. Find the last row of this column. So if there were like 100 templates here, it would go through all 100. But here there's only three, so it's only going to go here and stop. So that's what this last row function is. And then it just loops through those, and it's getting the address of these hyperlinks. So if we run this, boom, there is the relative addresses of these hyperlinks. So the next thing is I want to change that to the exact links. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is put a location in there. So this is the original, oops, I'll put the original parent folder in there. So I need to copy addresses, text, paste, oh, come on. Maybe I'll do this. Oh. 
All right, so we don't need the my Excel part because that's already part of here. So we go like this. And so the, the reason I, I'm doing this is in case um, if this changes, all you have to do is update this and all the, the new links will be updated automatically. So here I'm going to do the hyperlinks formula. So the first thing is to link location. So I'm going to do this and then plus this. So it'll be this and my Excel, the whole. So it's going to be, again, the exact hyperlink reference. So it's going to be this combined with the name. You get the exact location. And then if you want to just put the, the name, we can do that. It'll, it'll do the same name. So I can just drag this down. And now I have exact hyperlinks to all these. So again, if I click here, it doesn't open. But if I click here, it opens. So now I can move this document to any folder and these links will work. Oh, and I messed up the formula. I need to keep this cell from moving. So to do that, we do this and then Drag that down. Now we can hook on those. And again, like if, if this were to change drives, names, or the folder structure changed, all you have to do is change this, and these links will update automatically. So there you have it. That's how you change uh, relative links and do exact links. And again, you can download this. Um, this template for reference in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.